In the thematic category volume, there is a discursive formation very close to the question of body shape, in this case, based on the abdominal circumference, the hip, the trunk, or the volume of the body of characters with a certain degree of corpulence. In all cases, the reduction of the character to its corpulence and this characteristic was to state that such perimeters are excessive. This was done using situations in which there was a discrepancy between body measurements and some artifact that requires a certain metric normality of the body. Thirteen stretches were found. In six of them it was considered that it was a direct amortization. There was a tendency for an increase in the number of statements of this type in the investigative period. To illustrate, seven small excerpts were chosen. In this first excerpt, from the film and course obstacle, from 1906, by Alice Guy Black, there is an obstacle course, as the title indicates. In one of the obstacles, which consisted of passing through a barrel, several of the competitors perform the task easily, but a slightly more corpulent competitor gets stuck in the barrel. Your partner then rolls the object sideways until it leaves the scene. Likewise, in Shoulder Arms, of 1918, by Charlie Chaplin, a soldier with a large belly, although quite active in the pursuit of the tramp, war enemy, dressed as a tree, gets stuck in a pipe, through which the fugitive had escaped. His companions try, in vain, to push him or remove him from the situation, which is only achieved by breaking the pipe.
also from Chaplin, the 1919 film, Sunnyside, uses a variation of the situation of entrapment. In this case, however, it is in a chair, due to the hip circumference. The character gets up so that Chaplin can continue cleaning and the chair remains attached to him, while he moves, making it unnecessary to hold the furniture for movement. In Roscoe Arbuckle's, The Haste, of the same year, Buster Keaton tries to measure the fat man's abdominal circumference, but the measuring tape is insufficient. Again, therefore, a discrepancy between a normal body metric and the corpulent. In the fifth excerpt, from the 1922 film, My Wife Relations, by Buster Keaton, one of the characters prepares to be photographed, trying to adjust the vest, keeping the belly inside. He does not succeed, however, and relaxes his belly again. Both the clothes are small and the belly is big. Finally, the last two excerpts are from the 1928 film, The Battle of the Sexes, by D.W. Griffith. At first, the protagonist undergoes various exercises and the use of exercise equipment, the purpose of which is seen below is to reduce the abdominal circumference, which is achieved with the use of an abdominal belt. And in the second moment, after the failure in adultery with a young and thin girl, he appears to be giving up the task of reducing the volume of the tummy, removing the brace. The general argument of this film, therefore, brings statements of resistance to the new values. <laughs> 